Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, my next guest tonight has appeared in numerous films, including This is Spinal Tap and Waiting for Guffman. Now you can see him in Best in Show. Please welcome Fred Willard. It's, uh... It's great having you on. Thank you. It's fun being up this late, too. I'm not even tired. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you, are a, you are a very attractive man in person. Thank you say very that. much. Yeah. I have an attractive odor, too, do I not? A lemony scent. Yes, yes. As many people like. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, uh, when I was really interested in uh, comedy when I was a teenager, I was really getting interested. I used to watch Fernwood Tonight all the oh, time yes. with you yes. and Martin Mull, Martin, and I yes, loved yes. that show. Yes. And it meant a lot to me, that show. But I'm realizing now that most people, probably a lot of people that watch our program now, would probably know you best from the Roseanne yes, show, they, where you and, and, and Martin Mull played a, a gay couple. Yes. Uh, he called me one day and he said, our writers didn't want to call you, but they have an idea where you and I would get married and adopt a baby. And I said, oh, that's too good to say no to. Right. So we came on the show and it was kind of awkward, the show, because we were supposed to get stand at the altar. Norm Crosby was the minister, so you imagine the tone of the show. Right. And we were supposed to kiss, and it was sort of uh, uneasy, because I've known Martin for a long time. So well, I mean, he, he had second thoughts on the show, so Roseanne was supposed to give him a big smooch, gave him a big smooch to prove to him that he was gay. And so when it came to that time, we were supposed to kiss, the camera kind of panned by, and we faked it. The day after still, the show, most people thought you had we, kissed. We thought we kissed. The day after it was shown, he was at a, have his, having his car fixed, and his mechanic said, boy... You actors, I don't think I could do what you do. And he said, why, having to kiss Fred Willard? He says, no, having to kiss Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> Those mechanics, they're a saucy lot. Yeah. If she intimidates even a car mechanic, that's something. But she is, uh, she is very intimidating, but it was wonderful working with her. She yeah. is, uh, she's a terrific, uh, terrific person. Well, let's talk about this movie, Best in Show. I loved Waiting for Guffman. Really funny Thanks. movie. Yeah, you I think everybody loved Waiting for Guffman. Hilarious movie. This is you guys assembling a lot of the same people to, uh, to do your take on basically what is the competition for, dog show competition. Dog show. Now, I was surprised to find out how many people watched the Westminster dog show. I didn't know the darn thing was on television. Oh, yeah. But everyone I talked to said, yeah, I missed it. So it's a take on the people who uh, have the dogs and uh, uh, put them in the show. And you play in the, in the movie, I'm you play a the... I'm a sports uh, caster who was brought on as a color commentator who unfortunately has not had... Uh, done the preparation to learn anything about dogs. He's, and you're just trying to liven things uh, up a little bit. Just trying to add my two cents, you know, to make right. things a little uh, more interesting. Let's uh, take a look at this clip from Best in Show. We have a clip. Yeah. Uh, now, what is that? Is that that's a, uh, a bloodhound, isn't it? I think this is a tremendous dog, and I would say maybe in two to three years this could be a champion dog. But I just think it may be a tad immature for this year. Just trying to get a little playing time in. Would you take your dog down and back for me, please? Now, uh, you know what would be funny? I don't know if they can do this. Uh, uh, just an idea off the top of my head. Why did he put the blood on, put on one of the Sherlock Holmes hats, and put a little pipe in his mouth? Are they ever allowed to do anything like that, dress up a dog in a funny way? No, that's, that's not quite what the uh, purpose of these shows is. But it would, I think it would really get the crowd going. You know, you know what I mean? The Sherlock Absolutely, Holmes hat yes. with the pipe. I don't know if you can make it look like smoke's coming out of the pipe. I think that would be a little dangerous. <laughs> I'd get a kick out of it. <laughs> You're just trying to help. Just <laughs> And it, it still seems like a good idea. <laughs> I'd watch that show. Sure. Now, you, used re you guys used real dog show dogs in this oh, movie. Oh, yes. A lot of them were trainers, brought their own dogs, yes. Because they're intense people, yes. the, the dog yes, show trainers. Yes, they are, yes. We, we've had experience because we've sent a puppet to the dog show before. And I've they heard. get very upset and they get mad and throw oh. us out and eject us. <laughs> well, one lady found out her dog was not going to win. And she said, this is impossible. With my breeding and, you know, this dog is not going to win. They had to explain to her that it was a movie. Right. There was a script. She left, took her dog uh, and went home. They had to spend the whole night finding a replacement dog. Now the problem this caused, the judge goes up to the dog and looks at its teeth and reaches between its legs to grasp its, I think I can say it, the testicles. For, because for some reason the, the dog has to have two. You, you decided you could say that? No. 
<laughs> you could have used a lot of words. Uh, no, testicles I'm hearing is it's fine. It's a medical It's a medical Oh, but you can only say it once. Okay, I say it twice. <laughs> Go ahead. But there must be two where the dog is eliminated. Now, the point is... And that's, this, and that's why they actually, seriously, that that's is, why that they feel them. You need to have two. I don't know. It wasn't my idea. But this <laughs> poor dog... Suddenly I see this poor dog skittering, and I said, what's wrong? And they said, well, here's this dog, probably at home, and, and, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to be in a movie. He wasn't trained this way. And someone, <laughs> someone has their hand between his legs. And that's how I got the role when I auditioned. <laughs> I didn't flinch. You Christopher were Guest, what is that? It's fine. Take your time. I'm a professional. You do what you have to do. Of course. Well, uh, Best in Show is uh, in theaters now. And uh, Fred, uh, thank you so much for coming by. It was a pleasure. Thanks Great for having me on the show. Fred Willard, everybody. R.L. Burnside coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.